So hello crypto addicts and fellow traders here guys, so here back on crypto opus, so guys, I was set up yesterday, so I did it yesterday, so you can see pretty much 14 hours ago, but if you guys notice, and hopefully you haven't done it, uh, you know, you just have to watch this video, okay, now you don't have to wait 14 hours, I only wait, waited the 14 hours, because I want to show you something here, uh, you know, so you can see some work that's been done, so, uh, if we look through the trades, so the trades I opened yesterday, so now we have uh, BNB now trading at, uh, you know, giving me a positive result at 3.61, okay, IOTA 0.71, so basically we're going to set this up before we turn on buying and selling, okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go again back to config, base config, okay, and write where it says coins and amounts, okay, you want to set this amount, so again, we did that on, on a previous video, uh, so 0.4, uh, the reason we want to put that there uh, is because we need to, so uh, over time, uh, we'll, as we go through other videos, you will understand why this percentage has to be set like this, uh, minimum amount in terms per order, so mine is now set, uh, if you watch the previous video, the yesterday's video, it was about 50, I think it was, okay, so it's like 15 dirhams uh, that we're going to use to allow the bot to use. Well, it's not the case here, so what we're going to use, uh, we're going to set this to about $50. So 0.22 of Ethereum is about $50 worth of Ethereum. So you're going to set that to $50. If you want to set it any lower, get in touch. I will tell you what exact number you need to put there. Maximum amount allocated. I don't put anything there, just leave this completely blank, okay guys, because, you know, you just keeping the basics here to make sure everything goes as planned. So once you did that, put these values in there, click save, and let's go back to the dashboard one last time before we turn everything on and let the bot do its thing. So now, the first thing we want to do, so, you know, our set profit set, uh, base profit should be set at 2.77, so this one, as you can see, is way above that number already but because we don't have anything buy and sell turned on yet, so the system hasn't sold it, okay? So what we're going to do, uh, you know, we'll be talking about this info a couple of times more. So we're going to click on info. Uh, you can see I could ask the it sell this position right now, but that's not what we want to do. We want to let the bot do the job, okay? So go to settings, and as you can see, my profit there is set at 1.90. So if you turn the bot on, what happened is you may lost a couple, uh, you know, a bit more profit in there. Uh, but that's okay, guys. It's, uh, what's important here is making sure that you are actually making a profit, okay? Uh, once you see reds, don't worry about the reds. Wait for the greens. Let the bot do a job. If you, if you see reds, and basically that's what we're doing on this setup compared to the US dollar setup, is this, this setup is mainly so we're going to uh, trade shorts. Or in other words, we're going to bet that some coin is going to go down, so other coin is going to go up and we're going to make profit that way. In this case, Ethereum. So we're bidding uh, against Ethereum. Uh, that's where the prices go down, other coins go up, and we take our profits out, exchange it back to Ethereum, and eventually, when Ethereum starts to go back up, we then have our USDT uh, market setup that, in a way, that Ethereum is going to carry on bringing us profit. And then we just repeat the process. You go up and down every minute, just doing the same thing over and over again. Okay? So at this point, what we're going to do, so we know this coin is passing there, so I'm actually going to push that to 290, so it's still way because it's a 3, a 3 sending, okay? So 375. So let's put 390, okay? Uh, and click save. Okay, so let's save. Yes, yeah, saved. Close. And you can see it's 329. Uh, so I put a 3.9, so as you can see now it's pulling back, so what happened is the market reached the 24 hour high, and it's now it's selling out. So at this point, if I was to turn on the bot, it won't sell it because my profits. So let's turn on selling. Okay, let me just check this one, because this one could be ready for selling here. IOTA, so we're going to click info, again as you can see, 0 0.90. So IOTA is not a coin that moves that really that fast, so I'm, uh, I'm okay with that. So I'm going to leave that as it is, and that's okay. So I know it's not going to sell it. So I'm going to turn on selling, okay? Now, since I turn on selling, it's nothing to sell. That one is a two, uh, 323, so the bot didn't act because the, the target profit has not been reached, okay? So it's 325, but let's go here and change the, uh, you know, 330, okay? So we can actually see that the bot, actually let's put 325, and you can see as soon as it's saved, the bot is going to go straight trying to sell that profit. To grab you the profit right there okay there you go so 325 we put it in now we wait 
okay, until the bot opens the order and starts to sell. Okay, hopefully it doesn't fall that quick uh, because I'm not watching the trade the trade here, so I really don't know what's going on. But the bot is is watching. So you know, let's uh, just a couple of seconds here, see if he opens the the order. Now remember, we are in the bargaining package, which is uh, scans every ten minutes. Um, but what we want to see is to make sure that is a sell scene. There you go. So it's now searching. There is a bot. It's working. It's kicking in. And now at this point, it should find that he is in profit there at 3.25 and should try and open an order to sell that automatically. And grab that position. Okay, guys, pretty much that's what the bot does. It is completely looking at the market, making the trades for you. All you have to do is click de deploy the configs. Uh, keep doing the same thing over and over again okay now this is uh, because we're using the um, altcoins so basically altcoins against Ethereum here uh, Ethereum market so it's uh, quite a lot of coins to scan there so it can take some time here but I wanted to do is to so you can see the system uh, making it a, a trade fully automated okay and what I want to see is to open the order really quick. So as you can see now fall. So back to 3, 325. So 20, 323 to 325. So it looks like it's going to go up. So if it's going to go up uh, because of our base config, the way it's set, it may try and get a lift. So it's gone back again. Okay. So 323. So I'm just going to. So 325 again. So on this. Uh, and this is where the bots can be a little bit of a problem because you have always to play to pay to play a catch up because the API keys uh, can be delayed. Okay, guys. So uh, you know, I just want to see to make sure you guys can see the cell coming through. And for the time of this video, so I'm just going to lower this down to 320. Okay, so to give the gap opening up in there. So you know, see if the bot finds the trade and gets it done. Go on, should be selling, you know. And there it goes. Okay, guys, here you go. It's open the order for selling, selling the position, sell order placed. As you can see, it's fully automated. Uh, now we just need to find the buyer. Since we're going at 320, the market showing at 325, it should very easily find the buyer and complete the fill the order. And then it should show down here. Now I have a manual short there because yesterday when I stopped filming I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> I short, I short sold it, but then I I bought the short again. So straight away, as I sold it, I bought it. Okay, so there it goes. So sold. As now you can see the order has been sold, it's been filled, and now it's down here. My profit on that trade, even though I set it at 320, it still got me the 325. So there it goes, guys. The bot works perfectly. Uh, all you need to do is a little patience, learning the system. Copy our configs, it's a click and deploy, one click, that I will show in the next video. So once again, I'm Zenuns guys, thanks for watching, please comment and subscribe, and check the links below this video. Bye bye for now.